Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Today is going to be the first really serious video that I've had since I started this channel and I felt I needed to make this in response to something that happened today. Somebody posted on another video of how they stuck their hand inside an amplifier and got a nasty shock and acted surprised. Guys, at the start of every video that I've posted in the last few months, there's a big warning. Danger of death. Now, look at this picture. There's a skull and crossbones with high voltage warning. And then next to it, there's a guy laying on the ground dead that says danger of death. Why would you not pay attention to that? I'm just lucky that the, whoever this happened to is still alive to be making this comment. If they had been touching the chassis when they stuck their hand inside the amp, it likely would have stopped their heart and they'd be dead. This is no joke, guys. This is not a toy. This is like sticking your hand into a chainsaw. I mean, I cannot stress strongly enough that you need to understand what you're doing and you need to understand all the safety precautions that just because you have this thing unplugged doesn't mean there's no voltage left inside it. And now I'm concerned that if somebody complains to YouTube about this, that this whole channel could get taken down. And it's probably why you don't see anybody doing these kind of videos because People are too ignorant or stupid to heed any precautions or they skip by them or think it doesn't apply to them. It applies to you, every one of you. And this is the exact reason why none of you can buy kits or put together parts things because I talked to attorney and they warned me exactly of this liability. If I sell you a kit, they said I can have three pages of warnings. And if somebody kills themselves, I would still get sued, probably lose my house and everything I've ever worked for in my life with no way to defend myself because they can use the excuse of, well, they didn't read that. And obviously this person that shocked themselves didn't pay any attention to my warning. They didn't do any research. And they can say, well, you said there were lethal voltages inside, but you didn't say it with, they were in there if they were unplugged. Well, I could say that. And then they could say, well, you didn't say that they would be there 20 minutes later. And I could say that. And then they'd have some other freaking excuse. Or, you know, maybe they'll stick their soldering iron in their eye and say, I didn't know that was going to hurt me. I'm, I'm just really both upset and just, again, I felt like I needed to put this video out there in defense of myself that I think I've warned you sufficiently. And I cannot spend 10 minutes of every 20 minute video going over all the potential hazards that you could run into working on one of these things. And if you want to, I mean, I guess what I'm saying is do not ever do anything that I'm showing on my channel. Don't do this at home, folks. Leave this to professionals that actually know how to not shock and electrocute themselves working on this stuff. And if you do anything that I'm showing you I'm doing on this channel, you're doing it on your own. 
And if you get killed or get shocked, hate it for you. I'm just, I'm really upset. And I mean, I don't know what else I can do to try to keep this from happening in the future. There's probably nothing I can do because we see people winning Darwin Awards all the time. And so, anyway, I hate to have to make this video. Probably going to lose some subscribers over it. I can't worry about that. I have to worry about protecting myself from potential lawsuits, from morons that refuse to follow instructions. I even go over in the video about how th this amp has no bleeder resistor and the voltages don't get drained when you turn it off. Do they just like scroll past that? I can't stop people from scrolling past whatever safety warnings I put in videos. And it sounds like what they did is they had their voltmeter. I told them to use clip leads like this, which they probably didn't do. But if they had done what I said and used clip leads, when they turned the amp off and unplugged it, they would have seen that there was still over 300 volts sitting on that cap. But they didn't do that. And minutes later, they're trying to take the wires off the output tube and get a, quote, nasty shock. Well, I bet you did. And hopefully, you and anybody who watches this video will learn that you're just lucky you're not dead. Because that could have easily killed you if you would have just been happening to have your other hand on the chassis ground. So anyway, I felt this video needed to be made. This is not what I enjoy doing. But again, after what happened and I saw today, I felt this was necessary. And hopefully in the future, I won't have to make another video like this. And maybe somebody will learn something from this. Hope you have a good day.